Vous êtes belle, ma bien amie. French? Normandy dialect. You're smart. <laughs> I like that. Hey, question. Anything. <laughs> do you do this with all your customers or, you know, I mean, a lot of, a lot of dudes walk into that club? You're my first. Wow. What makes me so special? Because you're funny. And besides, I've always wanted to do with a gynecologist. Stirrups, anyone. <laughs> <laughs> ah, wow. I didn't know this place had room service. <laughs> We're fine. Thank you. Wait, 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 wait. Hold, hold on. Where, where are you going? I gotta go. Oh, no, wait, wait. I'll take care of it. Hold on. Yeah, hold on, monsieur. You know what? It's probably one of Caffrey's goons. They must have followed me here. Caffrey, who's that? Your wife? <laughs> She wishes. What do you want with me? Was she? Candy Kane. I'm guessing that's not her real name. You think? She worked at a place called Beneath the Beltway. It's over on Wisconsin. New dancing, no cover? What, you've been there? Sure. On amateur nights, I go pick up a little cash on the side. Really? You know, for a genius, you're really not very smart. You said you left work early because you were sick. Yeah, you know what? Sex has its curative effects, right, Fenway? Listen, uh, it was the first time I've been there. I, I'm mixing it up. I'm, uh, I'm following your precious protocols. Her real name is Emily Biggs. She lived on Crescent Circle. You said she knew the attacker? Yeah, it looked that way. And this guy was really strong, too. He uh, took a serious blow to the head, didn't slow down. Alien, gotta be. Anybody seen my pants? Did you get him some coffee, black? But find his pants first. I take it with soy milk. Take it black. Molly. A hell of a grip on this guy. Completely crushed the doorknob. There were four epithelials under her fingernails. They came back positive for triple helix. So the man who killed her was definitely an alien. Well, he has the triple helix like the others, but it's present in less than 60% of his DNA. He was only partially bioformed? Mm. Seems like Ramsey had a run-in with a very different kind of alien. Who's right on time? The flaxseed pancakes at this place down the street are amazing. I can't go. You came all the way down here to tell me that? I just got the page. Ramsey went out last night. I guess he had a bit of a close call. Close call? You know, I can't talk about it. Is he all right? Yeah, he's um a little freaked out, but he'll be fine. Pancakes can wait. Go. We'll have dinner tonight. Maybe doctor on the planet whose husband is busier than me. Mm -hmm. His hair is a little darker, uh, and the eyes are wider apart. I think. You think? It was dark in there. That and the booze. I think the ears rounder, more Prince Charles, you know, away from the head. Did he have any scars, distinguishing marks? Not that I can remember. Oh, come on, Ramsey. Did you get a look at this guy or not? Make the chin a little wider. The, give, him, give him less eyebrows. Is anyone else bothered by what happened? You're one of a handful of people that even knows about the alien threat. An infecty breaks into your motel room and kills the stripper, but not you. You'd rather I was dead? No comment. Listen, 
You know, uh, do you care about anybody or anything? I mean, God, have you ever gotten laid? What did you say? Uh, Mr. Bailock, <clears throat> sir, could you give us a few minutes? We might be able to make more progress, just the two of us. Give me a call when your masterpiece is finished. You don't remember what this guy looked like, do you? I'm trying, dude, okay? What do you got? Our alien killer knows quite a bit about human anatomy. He used some type of surgical blade to sever every nerve fiber between her brain stem and her cerebellum. She died within seconds. So we're looking for a doctor. The weapon was curved with serrated edges, possibly a lateral osteotomy knife with a few custom modifications. You and Lucas check every medical supply company in the area. See if anyone's ordered a knife like that one recently. Anything else you can tell me about him? A new type of alien? Not without a fresh tissue sample. I'm on it. This can't be a coincidence. What, what are the chances that an alien will break into Ramsey's motel room to kill this girl? Ask Ramsey. He's the mathematician. He want you dead. Dr. Caffrey, got a call from Director Stillwell over at the Bureau. Says he needs to talk to someone at Threshold right away. What about? He wouldn't go into details. My guess it has something to do with our murder investigation. Maybe he's not too happy we keep impersonating his FBI agents. I'll go and check it out. Oh, baby, girl, you're so rock and roll. But I know who did this. Some creep came in a couple of times. Candy said he was stalking him. Did she know his name? No, no names. Said the guy followed her to work from the supermarket. The second time he came in, we politely asked him to leave. Did he use a credit card while he was here? Did cash. Now, I look after my girls. At the end of their shifts, I make sure they have escorts to their cars. Bastard must have followed her home. Do you mind if we talk to some of the other girls? No, please. Thanks. You're gonna catch this guy, right? We sure hope so. What can you tell me about Candy's stalker? I mean, not much. She never really talked about him. We kind of had a falling out. What do you mean? I mean, we used to hang, and then one day she gets real quiet. Weird. Weird how? I don't know. I mean, she's pissed off all the time and always getting high. Things she never used to do. Have they cleaned her locker out yet? No. Top right. I told you. Weird, huh? Mm -hmm. And that too. Always scarfing down those protein bars, like 10 a day sometimes. Thanks. Call Fenway. Tell him we're on a DNA test. Whoa! Whoa! I had sex with an alien. I double-checked the results. Her DNA was triple helix. The normal triple helix variety. The infection can spread through sexual contact, right? I'm gonna need a blood sample. Yeah, as much as you want. Why didn't you test her before this? Never occurred to us one of them would be killing their own. It's a brand new behavioral pattern. Uh, Molly, talk to you in a second. Keep me posted. I trust you use protection? Take the damn blood, Fenway. I had my chat with Director Stillwell. Seems the FBI has set up a task force to investigate four previous murders with the same M.O. as ours. Scalpel to the back of the neck. They all happened in the last five days. Well, why are we learning this now? Interagency miscommunication. We impersonated FBI agents at the crime scene. The D.C. police assumed we were part of the task force. Well, tell them we're taking over the investigation. Where are they keeping the bodies? These three victims are infected. I expect this one is too. We've got an alien serial killer on our hands? Yeah, it certainly looks that way. And he's been very productive. Send agents to their homes, see if you can find out how they got infected. 
I'm taking food outbreak. I'll need to get them back to the lab, run the Daphne test. Don't we have bigger problems, like why this alien Ted Bundy is knocking off his own kind? Well, it could be a blessing in disguise. He's doing our jobs for us. It's not our job to murder infectees. Well, we've killed plenty of them so far. It's never bothered you. Sergeant Adams, for instance. I thought we were past all this. Adams was a different situation, and you know it. Yeah, well, when I find a point, I like to stick to it. That's an understatement. He's got a point, Caffrey. I mean, maybe this wacko can solve our ET problem. I say we give him a medal. So we're supposed to sit on our asses and hope this vigilante saves the planet? Hey, this one's testing negative for triple helix. You sure? Yeah, and he's perfectly normal. Human. So it's not just aliens our doctor's after. He's killing innocent people. Dead man coming through. Hey, got a minute? Did I do something wrong? Not that I'm aware of. Are you giving me a raise? <laughs> then I'm busy. How's Ramsey? He's still human. Not infected? Nope, he got lucky. I assume you saved his blood sample. Of course. I want to run a tox screening on it right away. May I ask why? Just get me the results. Well, that's uh, confidential information. No one in this building has the luxury of privacy. Let me know what you find. Can you feel the love? All right, in the last month, 23 orders for custom surgical devices were delivered to the local hospital. Try cross-referencing the names on the invoices against registered physicians. Of all the girls in all the strip clubs in the tri-state area, I had to sleep with an infectee. <laughs> Dude, count your blessings. You tested clean. Yeah, but still, the only thing between me and alienhood was a millimeter of latex. Go, go get some sleep. And I mean, go home. No more lap dances. Yeah, and the second I'm out the door, Baylock will have my clearance revoked and give away my parking space. Yeah, and that would be such a bad thing? It's not like you've been too keen on working here. I may resent Caffrey for ripping me out of my cushy job and making me one of her men in black, but uh, I'd rather be here on the inside than out in the cold. Baylock's been waiting for an excuse to kick me out of here. No, Baylock's been on your case because you were blitzkrieged. Are you taking sides with that fascist? No, Ramsey, I'm just... None of the names on these invoices were doctors. And maybe it's the names of the people that filled out the purchase orders. Right. I'll try to hack into the hospital database, see if I can find out which doctors ordered what. I know you won't. Come on, man. Get out of here. Go hang with your lady. It's okay, man. I, I don't mind staying. Dude, for a healthy relationship to survive, you gotta spend quality time together. <laughs> now I'm taking marital advice from you? Come on. I'm serious. You blew off plans earlier because of me. And now let me make it up to you. You sure? Come on, get out of here before I change my mind. All right. This one's normal. No DNA infection. But he is exhibiting low-level theta waves. Well, he is dead, right? Post-mortem brain activity is not unusual in people exposed to the alien signal. I did a background check. Believe it or not, this man is one of the people who ate at the seafood joint in Rhode Island and had the strange dreams. Maybe that's how our doctor's choosing his victims, by sensing their theta waves. He could have run into this guy crossing the street. The owner of the strip club said the killer saw Candy at a supermarket. He could have bumped into her in the checkout line, sensed her, followed her back to work. And the killer can't distinguish between a full-blown infectee and someone with minimal exposure. He may not even know he's murdering innocent people. Need I remind you there are three people with elevated theta waves working in this building? I just have one more thing to do. Well, this is one for the record books. I'm on time and you're not ready. Two minutes. I'm gonna get a soda. You want one? I'm good. Don't spoil your dinner. <sighs> it's a soda.
excuse me. You don't happen to have a crisp dollar bill on you by any chance. Ugh, oh, great, thanks. Stupid machines. It's, it's a flaw with the scanning optics. Eh? How did you find me? Thank you, pardon? You don't want to that much. What? Come on. You guys are in the neighborhood. There was no accident. The killer's targeting people with elevated data waves. You know he's a doctor, and you were at a hospital. Thanks for checking up on me. You better get that cut looked at. Thanks. This is Kavanaugh. I got an ID on that weapon. KN112739. Okay, that instrument was ordered nine days ago by Dr. Julian Sloan, Director of Oncology at the National Institute of Health. Can you pull up his ID? That's him. You sure? Yeah, it's all coming back to me. Okay, we need his home address. You sure you're all right? Yeah. You? I'm fine. I'm wondering why someone's trying to kill you, but otherwise. Thinking up another lie, Lucas? Another story to tell me? First you contract some mysterious illness, and I'm not allowed to see you for three days. And now this. Ah. You're not working for NASA. This has nothing to do with viral research. What's going on? Rachel, everything that I'm doing, it's to protect you. I want you to resign. Quit today. I can't do that. The hell you can't. You were almost killed tonight. Rachel, let it go. Everything's gonna be fine. Is this job worth your life? Yeah, it is. He could return at any moment, so let's make this fast. Doctors without borders. It's really humanitarian. When he was human. I may have found our means of infection. I think it's gazpacho. Probably made with contaminated tomatoes. Get it back to the lab. Yeah. Molly. Recognize anyone? Gang's all here. All of his victims. Manning. 
The Sloan killed her alien ringleader. No, not yet. Ongoing projects. We're after the same person. Is there anything in there that might tell us where Manning is? No, just pictures. Hard to tell where they were taken. Ramsey and Lucas will have a field day with this. His spacho tested positive. Sloan was infected through food. Anything to explain why he's different? We recovered a few drops of blood from the soda machine. Sloan has an inherited genetic defect, hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. It's a very rare condition. You've heard of athletes who suddenly collapse and die for no apparent reason. Are you saying Sloan's gonna drop dead? No, he only has one defective gene, but for some reason the bioforming process has activated that gene. It's keeping it from attaching the third helix. So essentially he's stuck between human and alien. We know his mutations are unique. Maybe his instincts are too. Instead of having the desire to propagate, he has the desire to destroy. Goodbye, Hippocratic Oath. No. Sloan doesn't see his victims as people. To him, they're like a cancer. They're tumors, and he's excising them. So this is what the Fortress of Solitude looks like. That's right, Lois. Yeah, Balak says this is where you do all your deep thinking. If the door's closed, don't come a-knocking. What's your excuse? I found these receipts in the trunk of Sloan's car. Beretta semi-automatic M4 combat shotgun. Yeah. You bought him two days ago in a gun shop in Berlin Heights. Whatever he's planning, scalpel won't cut it. Pardon the pun. He wants to take out Manning. How do you figure? He's been surveilling him, so he must know he's facing a small army of infectees. How is the man on coming? Now, we're staking out his house, but nothing so far. He knows we're onto him. Let's leak the bolo to the media. Get the public involved. Could drum up some leads. Uh, lots of Sloan info here. Are you writing a bio? Yeah, psych profile. Trying to figure out who Sloan is or was. Lay it on me. He's a prodigy. He interned at St. Luke's at the age of 23. He was the youngest director in the history of NIH. He was married once. His wife died of ovarian cancer four years ago. He still writes to her every day. He feels guilty he couldn't save her. This is the last one. My dearest, I know what they're planning. They're trying to spread the infection. I can see them. I know how to find them. God help me for what I'm about to do, for what I have to do. I have no choice. I am the only one who can stop them. That's a man who's conflicted. I don't even think he understands what's happening. If we find him, we may be able to reason with him. This email was written before the first victim was killed. Don't be so sure he's the same person anymore. Where are you going, Ramsey? Uh, nowhere, I guess. Paid you three times. Yeah, battery must be low. You can avoid me all you want, but you can't avoid this. Hey, if this is about last night, I didn't break any of your protocols. Actually, you did. Blood alcohol levels off the chart. Traces of cocaine found in your blood. More than a trace, actually. You forgot the Viagra. You think this is a joke, Ramsey? You're walking down a dark path, and you've been walking it a while. I know all about you. I know you made a lot of stupid mistakes, but there was always another university or think tank willing to look the other way and hire you. But if you screw up here, it's not just your life, it's everyone's. I know what you're thinking. Baylock's a jerk, doesn't know what he's talking about. My son was a real smart kid too. High IQ, went to a great school. I haven't seen him in eight years. I think he's living in the streets somewhere. He thought he could outsmart it, too. Multiple light sources more than 10 feet overhead, probably industrial fixtures. 
Yeah, my guess is Manning's inside a factory or warehouse. Perfect place for his genetic food experiments. Except next time he might aim for something bigger than a farmer's market. <laughs> What's that? You blew it up? Double-sided hinge. It's uh, designed for galvanized steel doors. There's a marking. Get closer. The company logo. I'll run a search. Spurlock Manufacturing, just outside of Philly. Get a list of all their customers and resellers within 100 miles of DC. Yes, ma'am. Looks like another late night. We'll get some real coffee. The boys want anything? I'm good. Yeah, coffee, good. Yeah. Soy milk, right? Yeah. Hey, I've been meaning to ask you about that infectee you slept with. What do you want to know? You know. How was it? Yeah, I mean, enhanced strength, stamina. Well, as much as I hate to admit it. Yeah? It was amazing. Yeah? I mean, God, I can't stop thinking about it. Really? I mean, I don't know if I can go back to Earth Girls. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Except the only bad part of it is, I got this rash in the shape of a fractal pattern. Oh, oh unbelievable. <laughs> Just go away from me. No. Tall double mocha and coffee with soy. Perfect. Restroom? To your right. Is it safe to pee? It's all clear. We swept the building. I'm not infected. Who are you? Why are you working with the police? Are they infected too? I'll answer all your questions. Just put the weapon down. How many are there like you? I was hoping you could tell me. I'm not involved in the conspiracy. I'm investigating it. You're lying. I can sense you. I'm Dr. Caffrey. Molly Caffrey. <laughs> I'll sever your brain stem and you'll be dead before you hit the floor. Specialized weapon, electrostatic shells, designed to stop infectees. Open it, you'll see. You've infiltrated the government. How high up does it go? You've got it wrong. I, I work for the government, but we're fighting the threat, th threshold. We're, we're, we're called threshold. How did you infect me? I didn't. The aliens did, through food. They, they tried to infect me using the sound, but it didn't take all the way. It affected my brain waves. That's why you can sense me. Dr. Caffrey, is everything all right? Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll be right out. There's someone you're watching. His name is Manning. Where is he? We're afraid he'll strike our food supply again. We have to stop him, but we can't do that without your help. You're a fascinating liar, Molly. But I'm the one asking the questions. Your questions are flawed. I have no reason to believe you. You can't afford not to. I don't play well with others. I work alone. Well, then you'll die alone. Because if you don't cooperate, we are going to hunt you down. I thought you needed me. You're killing innocent people. Not everyone you're targeting is a full-blown infectee. Some of them are like me. Elevated brainwaves. Human every other way. I've learned a lot about you. I know you're compassionate. God help me for what I'm about to do. Sound familiar? We're more similar than you realize. We've both been exposed, but we're still ourselves. Close your eyes. Don't do this. Your eyes. Please. I'm a talented surgeon, Molly. I can make this painless. You ready for this? 147 warehouses in the tri-state area use our double-sided hinge. It's gonna be a little tough to narrow it down. Well, how many of them store any kind of food? At least half. It'll take days to go door to door. Mm, not necessarily. 
I want you to build a geographic profile of Sloan's activities for the past week. Turn his house upside down, check his receipts, credit cards. Talk to everyone he's worked with. He was at that warehouse, Lucas. We just have to find out when. Okay, we'll get right on it. Hey. Hey. I've got men searching the immediate area, and we've uh, set up a three-mile perimeter. Let's forget about Sloan for now. Our priority has to be Manning. Forget about him. He's already attacked two of us, Molly. I don't think he'll try it again. You do realize you're defending a man who just put a knife to your throat. He could have killed me, but he didn't. He let me go. No work in the break room. Why didn't you get the memo? This isn't work. It's personal. Sloan's handiwork? The other man in this photograph. It's Agent Hayes. Could be anybody. You see that scar at the base of his hairline? He got that crash in his bike when he was 15. When we get Manning, maybe you should let someone else lead the assault team. <laughs> what are you implying? Just looking out for you. You're afraid that when that moment comes, I won't pull the trigger. We're not talking about any infectee. The man's your brother. Yeah. He used to be. We hacked into his car's navigation system, downloaded a record of everywhere Sloan's been in the past week. He, he pretty much drove to work and went straight home, except for these detours where he came across his victims. The uh, grocery store last Friday, and the strip club two nights ago. Okay, what else? We got a punch card from the Smoothie Shack. Which location? Doesn't say. Where's the list of locations? Get on it, now. All right, in the meantime, <clears throat> let's take a step back. How did Sloan begin his day? Uh, his alarm was set for 5.30. According to his staff, he got to work every day at 8 sharp. I figure 45 minutes to get ready, a 30-minute commute. That still leaves more than an hour unaccounted for. You no, know, he was a jogger. Compressed midsoles, erosion in the lateral heel. Do we know where he goes running? No, but this was stuck in the tread. Cherry blossom. Louis Uzumi cherry. Descended from a 1,400-year-old tree in the Gifu Prefecture of Japan. There's 50 of them planted in the West Potomac Park. Thanks. It was a popular area for joggers. See it. There's three warehouses in that district. Okay. There's a smoothie shack uh, near West Potomac. That's a stone throw away from one of our warehouses. Which one is it? Mineral Springs Corporation. Bottle of water? If Manning figured out a way to contaminate our water. Bullet to the brainstem. Sloan. Looks like he beat us to the punch. You too, let's move in. Permanent. Unit 2, report in. Got a visual. Got four targets behind the truck. Maybe more. We'll approach from the south and draw them out. Roger that. Permission to go hot, sir. Do it. Keep an eye out for Sloan. Roger that. You stay with her. You're right. I do need your help. You're the only one who can sense them. You can show us where they are. I'll drag you back if I have to. That weapon of yours is designed for fully infected people. It could kill me. I'm willing to take that risk. No, you're not. I've learned a thing or two about you, Dr. Caffrey. Threshold is the right idea, but you're going about it in the wrong way. You shouldn't be capturing his monsters. You should be destroying them. I can't take the chance you'll harm another innocent person. 
Good luck, Molly. Sloan. You could use a drink of water. Thanks. But I'll pass. So? Manny's dead. We found seven mercenaries who are still alive, but there's no sign of Agent Hayes. All right. Let's get these bottles back to Fenway. What about Sloan? Didn't see him. was contaminated with alginate. It's a tasteless extract made of seaweed. Daphne's still running tests to confirm it, but it looks like the seaweed was injected with the same enzyme that infected our food. Talk about your water cooler moment. We already told the water company to suspend all shipments, but I think you should get on the field, test their entire inventory, just to be safe. Sloan's face is on every bolo in North America. It's gonna be a lot tougher for him to sneak around unnoticed. Let's draw the bolo. We'll find him ourselves. Come again? He's too dangerous to let the police handle this. But are you protecting the police or him? Sloan doesn't need my protection. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You let him go, didn't you? I can tell when you're lying, Molly. Every time we Bigfoot local authorities, you purse your lips. You're Bigfooting me. There are 200 infectees still out there. We'll be hunting them down, and so will Sloan. God knows we could use the help. You didn't answer my question. Actually, I did. Evening, JT. Dr. Ramsey? Uh, listen, about that little after-school special of ours the other day. Just want you to know, message received and understood. Is that so? I'm on a new path now. No more screwing up. You won't see my name on any toxology report. I'm glad to hear it. Hey, look, Ramsey. Uh... Anyway, if you ever need anyone to talk to, my door is always open. Thanks, that won't be necessary. I've learned my lesson. Scotchman. Vodka doesn't smell on the breath. <laughs> <laughs>